What's up, people? Steve Jackson here again with you. Today I'm counting down my top 10 movies of the 90s. Now, it wasn't easy to come up with this list. I had to go through different genres, make some cuts here and there, movies I actually really love, and uh, movies I actually own. But I have compiled a definitive top 10 from uh, yours truly's perspective. Now, uh, the first movie is from 1995. It's a Hughes Brothers movie. And the Hughes Brothers also made Menace to Society in 1993. And uh, they also did American Pimp, a really good documentary from 99. And I don't know what the fuck they're doing now. They seem to have fallen off the map, which sucks because they're great directors. Now, much like Menace to Society, this movie also stars Lorenz Tate, who played O-Dog in Menace. And uh, it combines two things that I love a lot, the 70s and black people. And we have dead presidents here at number 10. Now this movie, uh, you know, I don't think it really gets a lot of do it deserves, and uh, it's a really good movie. It's about a guy who goes to Vietnam, comes back, he lives in uh, New York, I believe, and uh, things are fucked up when he gets back, and uh, he plot comes up with a plot to uh, with his friends to rob a truck, which is taking money to be burnt, that money that's not even good anymore, they're just gonna throw away. And uh, some sacrifices happen, and kind of sucks, has a kind of a downer ending. You know, I don't really like movies that don't have a happy ending, though, sometimes. Better that way, switches it up. Keeps it not so Hollywood. But anyway, Dead Presidents. Uh, you can get it for 10 bucks at Best Buy. Well invested. Moving on, there's a movie from 1996, or at least it came out here in America in 96. And uh, believe it or not, I actually saw this movie in the theater, first run. Now, I was like 13 or 14 back then, and surprisingly, they sold me a ticket over at the Haywood Cinemas, if you're from Greenville, you might, maybe you remember the Haywood Cinemas. But I was uh, in the theater with only about uh, two or three other people, and it was a great movie, and fuck, of course, now I own it, and it's a uh, pretty much a cult classic. That would be Train Spotting. And uh, if you don't know, this would be uh, Ewan McGregor's breakout role, and also Johnny What's-His-Face. Uh, Johnny Lee Miller, also of Hackers, he's in this thing. Uh, this is a really good movie. It's about uh, Edinburgh, Scotland, heroin addicts who love Iggy Pop, and they're basically crooks, and they try to get off heroin, and crazy shit ensues. And uh, it's got a lot of really good quotes, you know, just uh, ethos of life, and all kinds of cool things. And, and uh, yeah, I, I've noticed a lot of the actors in this sense have been in a lot of stuff. What's her face? Diane was in uh, No Country for Old Men. Bagby's in a bunch of stuff. Um, and uh, Spud, he was in Snatch. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, go rent it by his great movie. I don't have the special edition. The uh, special features didn't really appeal to me. Anyway, number nine, Train Spotting. Moving on, number eight is a movie that, um, if you saw my other video, uh, video where uh, another video of, of my movie collection where my friend Dave Dill reviews my collection he dogged this movie out pretty bad but he fails to consider how great every actor in it is and how believable every actor is and it's not for everybody but this is uh, 1994 or 5's um, Oliver Stone's Natural Born Killers and this movie um, it's basically an experimental movie as in they're in real arty but the storyline's great, and it's, you know, it is really a commentary on the media, and especially at that time, how well, all the serial killers are showing. We don't have serial killers so much here in America anymore. It's very few and far between. But uh, this movie's great, Natural Born Killers. Uh, I think it's well on its way to being a cult movie. I don't think it's quite a cult movie yet. Uh, Woody Harrelson's fantastic in it. Tommy Lee Jones, utterly convincing warden. Uh, all hell breaks loose. This is the director's cut. Believe it or not, they saw this at Walmart, and um, it's great. Uh, Julia Lewis is great in it, and it's got all kinds of cool animation and just fucked up, you know, here and there effects and inserts and shit. Natural Born Killers. Do it. All right. And moving on to number seven is a movie I forgot to mention, which also stars Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker was also in Dead Presidents a while back. And uh, I think pretty much everybody owns this movie. And you can't not talk about it when you're talking about 90s movies, especially 90s comedies. And uh, features one of my favorite rappers, Ice Cube. And um, it's the Hood Classic Friday from 1995. Now this movie was directed by F. Gary Gray. He also did some music videos. 
and he's done some other movies as well. And uh, this movie, if you don't know, it's really simple. Uh, Craig, played by Ice Cube, uh, gets fired, lives with his parents, and he gets fired, lives in like South Central LA, and it's Friday, and his buddy Smokey, who's the local weed dealer, uh, comes over and he's like, hey man, let's hang out, let's smoke a joint. He's like, yeah, I got shit to do, it's Friday, you, you fucking unemployed, whatever. So they get high and end up owing um, Smokey, the Stucker's character, his uh, head, head guy, I guess, head dealer guy. Uh, they owe him like 200 bucks and they don't have it. So he threatens to kill him if he don't get his money by like 10 o'clock. So anyway, and there's all kinds of little subplots, subplots uh, running through it. And uh, it's hilarious, and it's got a lot of great quotes, such as, You gotta knock the fuck out, or that's my bike, punk! Uh, with Devo. Um, but yeah, Friday. It's awesome. The sequels are fucking shit. Don't waste your time. You know, I, the second one, I gave it a chance. I watched it. It sucked ass. Uh, the third one, I couldn't even finish. God forbid they make a fourth. Don't fuck around. The first Friday is the way to go. Now, uh, moving on to another cult classic, uh, comedy, um, this would be <laughs> number six, The Big Lebowski, starring Jeff Bridges, and uh, also stars John Goodman, of uh, goes and fame, and you know, in all likelihood, this will be the role that Jeff Bridges goes down being remembered for, as good an actor as he is. You know, what What else is there to be said about this movie that you fucking don't already know? If you hadn't seen it, I don't know where you've been. Uh, 40-something-year-old stoner guy living in L.A. Uh, <laughs> gets a mistake, mistaken identity and gets his rug pissed on. That's all I need to tell you. And uh, he goes to the movie trying to get his rug back, which he never actually does. And uh, the movie doesn't really go anywhere, but it, it's still fun and entertaining at the same time. And, uh, yeah, Big Lebowski. They got a new edition, but I didn't want to buy it. I didn't think the special features were worth it to do this 10th anniversary edition. Anyway, yeah, Big Lebowski. You probably already know about it. 